Hi, I'm Cameron Bonzi. I'm the Vice President of Marketing with Coast to Maine Brands, and I am here with Dustin Fry. And uh, Dustin, it's been an amazing year. Um, and your granddad started uh, Fry Brothers years ago, um, and then he joined forces with you folks back in 2017. It's been a learning experience for everybody, but uh, it actually has allowed Coast to Maine to do a lot of things that we never could have done. And it's also allowed your family's brand to grow too. And right now with everything that's happening with the soil, the peat harvest, uh, raw material supply, we're in a good place to talk a little bit about what Fry originally established. And then we'll talk about some of the new blends that we've done so the growers can get what they need and have a more sustainable growth. Yeah, you're exactly right there, Cameron. It's been an amazing few years here. Um, we've been growing by leaps and bounds. And because of that, we have the people, the right people in place right now to actually start working on new mixes. Um, we obviously ran into issues with the peat shortage as a lot of people have heard. So what we've done is we've reformulated the fry mixes, which have been 20 years worth of experience on. Um, now to having peat free mixes. Uh, so what we did over time is we actually incorporated an aged wood fiber, a couple other different products that had already been in the mixes, yep. just kind of moved around the, you know, the different percentages there and recreated basically the standard mixes we have today or had before today. So I, I think that the big key there is the experience of uh, folks like your uncle Carl, um, and the ability for him on the mix line using these different blends. Felicia Newman coming in and knowing that we were going to have some of these issues and doing all the testing, setting things up, um, and that combination of the experience and the passion and the work has put us in good stead to be able to supply these. So a couple of things that I, I'm going to share my screen. And um, I'm just going to show, and I'm going to bring up the fry brochure. So if, can you see that Dustin? Yep. So in, as we say in here, and we're very excited that we've got the new formulation. So we say new formulations are quality control engineers designed our new mixes to be even more earth friendly, reformulated with USA produced and tested sustainable aged wood fiber and bark combined with renewable core. These improved blends continue the fry legacy of professional mixes meeting growers' needs. And I think that's important, the Fry legacy piece, because Fry is always known for their quality and their on-time delivery, uh, which we're reinforcing with all of this. So we're looking at this with the 300, the 400, the 500, the 600, and the Nursery NX6. Um, so kind of tell me, we'll, we'll scroll down here a little bit on, the 300, just because it comes up first, what do you usually, who's growing what, what are you recommending? Who are you talking to now that usually uses those? So the mix 300, we had kind of originally designed as like our general purpose mix. Yep. It can basically do almost anything, uh, but we really found that annuals, uh, herbs, vegetables, hanging baskets. I mean, anything down to a 72 cell tray pack really works well with this mix. Um, it's a great mix of basically, again, to, to start out if you're doing your annuals uh, early on in the season, some veggies, some herbs, and then moving later into mums, you can even use it there as well. So while these are new mixes, they're not basically like, hey, we just threw this together and threw it on the market. We've actually been testing, doing grow outs, which this is the first we've ever been able to do that now that we have a lab and the right people in place. Yep. So we've been actually, like I said, kind of tweaking the formula here on 300 um, to take out the peat moss. We added it a little bit more coconut coir, uh, a little bit more perlite, the aged wood fiber, and then a quarter inch pine fine, which is a smaller aged pine fine than before. We had always used half inch in the 300 mix. So yeah, by using all of those, um, for our different ingredients, we were able to get the same bulk density as the original 300, which meant the cationic ion exchange or the nutrient uptake was going to be the same as well. The pH was balanced in again. We're there at like 5.5 five to, to 6.0, depending, you know, on the water. So everything's 
basically back to normal, just no peat moss. And we've actually had people tell us that they're seeing faster root development um, in some of these mixes already. That's awesome. And, and what I love, as you mentioned before, having, having the staff to be able to do the grow out, something that Fry and Coast of Maine did not have before, uh, okay. but we've combined forces and become better uh, so that we can offer the growers a better option. What's the, the 400 mix? Give me, give me what that is, that does and why somebody would want that. Yep, so we had originally designed this one again, specifically for mums, but over time we have found that it's great for other bedding crops, fall crops, hemp, uh, even perennials and large outdoor containers, four inches and up. So it can, again, be like a little bit of um, variety there, not just a mum mix. But this one, again, we designed to have a little bit higher bulk density because mums like to take up more nutrients. Yep. So there's less perlite in this one. There's more aged pine fines, more coir, uh, a little bit more of the, the wood fiber than the mix 500. So in this one, again, the bulk density is higher, but that's, again, so these plants can take up nutrients better. The, so for uh, someone who wants you know, kind of a general purpose mix too with less peat or less perlite, this would be a perfect mix for them as well. And of course, we know that hemp, as it gets legal in different states, has become a huge crop. Um, yes. We've had, we've had some great success with this mix with hemp growers too. So We have. Now again, in this one, there's, this is just a base mix, so they're going to have to feed it, but it, we found that yeah, it's, it really helps again with the nutrient uptake and the root growth with this mix 400 on those and they're usually a larger container size so that's why it works better and tell us now about this 500 so the 500 was an originally blended mix for perennials uh, but again over time we have found that it can work for multiple other things uh, woody perennials or baseous perennials it's much better in like larger container sizes about eight inches and up um, it has a little bit more bark a uh, little bit more perlite than the mix 400, uh, but still has a pretty high bulk density compared to like the mix 300 and the other mixes uh, in here. So it, ha it has a larger, um, it doesn't have a larger bark size then? No, it's, that's actually the same bark size as the uh, mix 300, 400 and 600. Um, it's just a little bit heavier than the 400 and the 300 on the, the bark. So there's about 70% um, bark age bark in that one so it's not the bark size it's the percentage of the bark that makes it more porous Correct. and that's why again it's better for larger container sizes eight inches and up um, especially if they're going to be holding stuff maybe for a longer period of time it's going to have better drainage and it's not going to break down as fast and then the 600 mix yeah so this is kind of a new one we've come out with this past year uh, we found that we had a little bit of a hole between our 500 which is our perennial mix and our NX6, which is actually designed for like our nursery tree and shrub mix. Um, we just kind of needed something kind of right in the middle. So again, it's a half inch bark. And what we've done is we've actually added organic compost to this one to increase the organic matter in there. Yes. And then we put some sand uh, in there as well and some coconut coir. So this one doesn't have any perlite. It doesn't have, uh, actually, sorry, it has the wood fiber in there. It doesn't have the coir. Um, so it doesn't have any perlite in this mix and it's going to have a higher bulk density than the other mixes here. So again, somebody who doesn't like perlite in their mix, doesn't want to have that in there. This is going to be a great mix for them. And I think, again, it can go anywhere from your mums to your trees, your shrubs, uh, roses, blueberries, anything like that. And then the NX6 famous formula for us. Yes, this has been a, a very popular one lately. Uh, trees and shrubs have, have come back um, pretty big. So this one, we actually use a larger particle size. It's a three quarter inch age bark. So with that one, you kind of naturally get a little bit better drainage. It's going to hold better longer over time. Usually these can tend to stay on a facility for a year or longer. Yep. So with this mix, again, that particle size is not going to break down, but it's still going to help hold the pot there, stimulate root growth and all of that, and hold moisture. And what's our, what, what's our lead time right now? Right now, we're probably about two to three weeks on super sacks and bags. Um, we can try it. We can actually get bags out a little faster. And then bulk, we can probably get out in a week or two. 
So. So we have to let everybody know this is the uh, actually February 28th, beginning of March. Um, we are, this is current conditions for 2022. Trucking can impact things, raw material, but right now because of all the planning work we've done, we're in a good place if somebody needs a mix, correct? Oh yeah, again, because of all the people we have in the right positions right now, we're actually able to expand, take on new mixed customers while other, other vendors are turning them away right now. I know, it's awesome. And then the other piece is the custom blend. Where are we? We've done more in the past. What, what are we with being able to do our um, custom mixes? What type of volume? What type of time frame? So this year, it's going to be a little harder again because what we've been doing with redesigning our mixes, yep. we can do a custom mix if they really need one. Uh, but they, that's going to be something that we won't have like basically proven with these new formulas. Uh, with the other ones, we actually do have it proven right now. Yes. Um, so uh, if they need something in a, in a pinch, we can definitely do a custom mix. Uh, we're probably looking at at least 10 pallets or more minimum. And the lead time on that's probably going to be a little longer as well because we'd like to do some testing to make sure we get the pH dialed in. So about the three to four weeks on a, on a custom mix. So this part is, this is all awesome. I and mean, can you see the Fry website back here? When you're talking to me, when I change the screen, does it come across yep. to you? Like the... Just uh, Fry, so it's showing a Fry bag right now in the yep. Fry. Yeah, so I just wanted to put that in the background to reinforce, you know, Fry has been in business since when? Oh, we started in 64, I believe. My grandfather started as a construction company, sawmill, and over time, it just continued to change. And he would just kind of change with the times what people needed. And eventually the byproduct from the sawmill turned into a mulch company. And then he used the byproduct from the mushroom houses down here locally in Kennett Square to start the soil side, uh, which that was about probably late 80s, early 90s that started. And then beginning of 2000, that's when we started doing the custom mixes. So we've been doing those for 20 plus years now um, and have customers that have been buying since day one on those mixes too, still using the same mix. I, I love that. And I love the fact that we're representing your family um, well, that we're working together, that we can deliver. I mean, we're delivering these mixes um, really is as far right west as like wisconsin oh yeah yeah now because again with coast of maine coming in here we can actually deliver anywhere up and down the east coast out to oklahoma texas up to minnesota wisconsin um you know michigan all of those places in between so what i in what i would reinforce with anybody who's a grower and anybody that's interested in growing that coast of maine fry group we have the product, we have the experience, we have the passion, the trucking, the delivery, we've lined everything up. We're not gonna leave you out there in the cold. Uh, we're gonna be able to deliver to you. And where should they be trying to get a hold of, of us? And probably you're gonna be one of the lead people, but what's a, what's a good number for them to call? Uh, my cell phone is probably the best number to call right now. 717-305-0651. Great. And then what's the Fry telephone number? What's it, what, do you know what that is off the top of your head? 717-786-2146. That's awesome. Um, this is great. We're going to get this out. We're going to send this out. Please call Dustin. You'll get the results. Um, and thank you for doing business and potentially doing business with us.